Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. It's Monster Train Morning Commute. It's not in the morning anymore. It's pretty typical of me, but you know, that's how it is. Um, <clears throat> I hope everybody had an excellent holiday, and uh, they all keep them warm and safe and all that good stuff. I'm back under lockdown again, which means I can't go outside, which means uh, my already considerable bulk is going to be go ahead and be added to. It's fine. When the company apocalypse comes, I'll be able to survive longer without rations. Uh, as it stands right now, we're looking at it almost nine hours in. Our friends have not yet played yet. And according to yesterday's challenge, Emojo had a good time. Let's find out. How'd he do? He beat it. He actually beat it. Uh, what do we miss anyway? Multi-strike, all kinds of fun fear upgrades along too for him. That actually seems like an interesting challenge. But uh, today's challenge is not that. Today, we got a little fade and we got Forgotten Power for the Stygian Guard supplement. Uh, and Stygian Guard I quite like. Only Insect with Lifesteal 3 is actually a little bit weird. Um, it gives us a bonus in that effectively every time that we... They come in on the first floor, we have an advantage. Their lifesteal doesn't really kick in, because they attack first. But if we don't kill them, the next floor is going to suck. Uh, let's see, we have 12 additional random cards added to the deck, and we can't choose our path, which means we kind of have what we kind of have. Uh, that's fine by me. I actually prefer it when I don't have to choose the path, because that means I make less mistakes. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and welcome all my new daily people. Hello, everybody. Good luck. Now... Uh, Dell is the professor, so uh, they enter with damage shield. That's bad. Arcus, Darkness Incarnate, coming in with plus one to spells in hand and uh, Shattering Dark Shard. Okay, and then Seraph the Diligent, first spell you. Oh, well, that makes me sad. Uh, and then every time you cast a spell, it's removed. Okay, fine. Wicklash is an interesting get here. Memento Mori, interesting get. And then Helical Crystals, uh, very good get. We'll have to see what we can do here. The interesting get here is that we do have access to. Um, oh, what is it? Pyramid Mold, there we go. And a variety of other extras, actually. And we even have silence from, right from the get-go. Okay. Interesting. Offering token, Titan's Gratitude, both are excellent finds. I really enjoy seeing those two things together. And Harness the Titan is fantastic. This entire deck minus Ice Storm has been used to win me a game in some way, shape, or form. I'm enjoying it. Uh, the draft in particular makes me a happy boy. So, let's see what we, we can do here. When a friendly unit dies, apply 10 to that unit. Or when a card is discarded before the end of your turn, gain an energy. This is actually a tough one. Um... It's a tough one, because being able to just get an energy for playing Titan's Gratitude or Offering Token is good. Uh, same goes for Forgotten Power. allows us to play more cards. The downside here is that... Like, it's not that great. Um, <laughs> in some in some respects, it's good for the energy, but we don't exactly have the need for it yet. What's more important to me is that when a friendly unit dies, you apply 10 to that unit. With Primitive Mold, that means that the draft becomes a monster. Even the Train Steward starts to become a bit of an issue at a given time. So I'm going to go ahead and add the Resin Block to our life here. Let's see what we can do with it. Uh, and then with this, ooh, very interesting, very interesting. So we could go for slightly bigger and hits harder and all that stuff, or we could go for spikes. And I like the idea of spikes here. Uh, the more you kill, the better you get, the better you get, the better you feel, so each beans at every meal. Look, we're going to give this a shot. I don't think it's going to make a big difference, and I think it might be a mistake considering that we have lifesteal, but hey, it could be fun. Um... We just have to find a way to make him tanky. That's <laughs> not easily doable in this uh, particular matchup. So, how about you take the first death? Uh, we're going to kill off two of these guys for you. Let's see. You'll attack, kill, get killed. You'll attack, you'll kill. There's no sense in really doing anything extra here. Um, I might as well play Whiplash on you. And then uh, have a death. It's fine. Now, here. Ice Storm does a lot of work. Put down a train steward. Freeze one of you. Offering token? Didn't do anything. Okay, cool. Primitive mold. Nice. That's gonna kill off two of them without any additional work. Molded. We got back a train steward. It's got burnout one though, so we're gonna have to just slaughter down here and then hope for the best. Um, at this point, we sit tight. So now what? It's a weird one, because we, like, obviously want to do more, but we can't. Um, you'll die before you have a chance to do anything. We might as well toss a Titan's Gratitude here. Interesting. Let's see what we get out of the Primitive Mold. It's Little Fate again. And you're dead. Look. There are times when this comes out perfectly. This is one of those times, and the resin block is helping. So we didn't get the kill in the first round, but that was honestly just bad luck. 
Overall, this worked out great. Wicked Blaze here is fantastic because it allows us to reform with an additional 10 on top of the 10 for Resin Block. Like, doing that on the draft instantly just makes him do 30 damage. It's, it's per hit. That's grotesque. Um, I really like the idea of Purifying Cleanse on the right character, though, since that allows us to apply a lot of burnout very, very quickly. But I do think that Wicked Blaze works best. Then, uh, out of these, there's not much to say. Uh, I don't really like the majority of these. Even the Molosk Mage, I'm kind of, like, iffy about. Uh, we have some spells that do damage based off of magic power, and honestly, the Ice Storm does do some good work with it. Y you've made a case for yourself, sir. Welcome to the party. There's 30 cards in this party, and uh, that's, uh, that's making it a very farty. Let's see what we can do with the Stygian Banner here. Uh, Incant equals armor. Three. Okay. Uh, sweep. Apply spell weakness. That's powerful. I like that power, so we're going to keep that power going, is my feeling. Uh, if we apply Burnout... Uh, sorry. Burnout? No. If we apply Quick, then she just applies it right out of the get-go, and potentially even kills a couple of the weaker units if we get the uh, right benefits to go along with it. I like that plan. The other option is we can apply quick to our draft, so our draft just actually just does stuff, and I like that a lot. Um, having a burnout after two could also be particularly interesting, but uh, it's not the time. Icy Silophyte having just a little bit of extra HP could not hurt, and we, now we need to aggressively start purging, is my feeling. We have so many cards, and we have just so little to do with them. Um, remove a train steward. Do we have enough for another one? We do. There goes another train steward. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. We got creatures that we want to regenerate far more often than the occasional non-burnouted uh, <laughs> train steward. Not that it's bad. You know, train steward getting hurt is good stuff. But Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, offering token first. Yeah, we'll harness the Titans because we can. Alright. Yokel Crystals, you could not have come at a better time, honestly. Okay. This works. I don't know why I put it on that floor. Um, you'll attack, you'll get hurt. You have Spikes 9 right now. It's not enough to stop you from dying. Might as well apply this here. Okay. Now, at this point, Primitive Mold works on one character alone. It's this point. And now you're dying. Um, you might as well just never make it to the top. Cool, and we might as well silence all you. Uh, look. This does mean that we get an additional two spikes, and that's fine by me. Now, out of these... Uh, molded immediately takes some precedence here. Now out of these, I think we skip. We got enough ice tornado slash helical crystal kind of like situations going on here. Lady of the House is very interesting. I like her. Um, there's definitely something to be said about the Siren of the Sea and the Nameless Siren as well because we are casting a decent number of spells. Um, but we need to figure out one way to play right now. And considering what we're going up against later on down the line encanting tends to be a bit spooky i like the idea of lady of the house coming in and just being a big smashy face kind of character uh we go down the left side so we didn't take any damage that's good by us enemy units after the prospect two we're gonna ever deal two damage whenever enemy unit moves between floors um it's effectively the same thing but rules of containment uh has more play with additional artifacts and stuff Whereas Jack Strips just does the two damage you ask it to do every single time. And admittedly, that's tempting. Hmm. I think it's safer to go for Jack Strips here. The extra two damage per floor is a little bit more regular. But there's definitely something to be said about the about the other way to play here. Um <laughs> I think we're going to go for the for the Calcified Embers here. Hear me out. The Calcified Embers themselves aren't actually all that bad when you have a deck of 30. There's a 1 in 10 chance you draw one, let alone uh, any at all. And that's not huge. And then when they eventually turn into their better selves, uh, that, that's good for us. So, down here. Uh, I like the idea of Little Fade coming out and maybe doing something. I have a whole ton of life though, my friend. Thank 
You're doing six damage there. Pops. Um. Now you're doing 20. Okay, now we're getting two kills. That means you're getting a kill, which is great news. Um. I don't want to put down the Icy Seal fight yet, but if we don't put her down now, we'll never see her again. Like, that's just the facts. Okay. Okay. The Mental Mora here does a little bit of damage. Not much, just a little. We might as well put this guy out here so that way he dies first. Then you attack and then you attack and get the kill. I like that a, pl a lot, actually. Um. And that helps, too. I don't think we need to foregone power, so let's not. Okay, Harness of Titans here does nothing. Molded. What am I grabbing back? You, of course. So, that Getting a kill, no problem. You will hurt somebody if you go out there. I, in fact, I could play you such that you are actually able to wipe out this floor before anything else happens. Um, I like this plan, but we're going to set it up on a different floor. Because I'd rather get the permanent bonuses off of you than anything else right now. Now, giving you Endless does help a little bit. Uh, popping up here, you're going to be able to immediately murder this thing and then hurt that thing. Then that thing goes off and you slap him for one. And you know what? That's, that's a good plan. I like that. Uh, but what if... We did this. <laughs> I grabbed a train steward. Um, it's not exactly what I was hoping. But what if we did this and put her out there first to avoid her taking damage? And I think I like that plan. Uh, we're not killing enough down here. Okay, now we're killing you by exactly enough to make me happy. And we're getting one kill per round of enemies, which is totally fine by me, actually. Uh, Primitive Mold is just going to get back the same guy again. Um, I think we do this. Now, it does mean that we've removed the spell weakness, which feels bad, man. But if we do this, grab the train steward again. It's now hitting for a lot. Um, we might as well freeze him while we can. And now you're just doing your thing. So, what do we do? Well, we reform the lady of the house, who's now got 60 freaking damage. Um, how do we math this out? <laughs> like, there's, there's definitely something here to math out. Um, you'll have to see a turn. So, nine, dead. Attack, dead. The other option is I can put you in front. And now you're taking a lot more damage. And that's mighty fine by me. Shame the burnout didn't last any longer. Alright, little fade came back, though. Oh, he's gonna die before I have a chance to kill him. Uh, reason being, we're gonna just do this. <laughs> Could I have had Little Fate try to kill him? Could have tried. But the quick on the draft would have said no. <laughs> it was way too strong. So a plus three and apply Burnout 1 to friendly units. It's not as good as I would have hoped. Deep Offering is really, really good. Especially if we can remove Consume and give it Holdover. Um, that could do some good stuff. Same thing with Spike of the Stygian. Both of these are ex like both of these are pretty good. Uh, but Deep Offering definitely has more play. The discarding your hand and drawing an additional five is particularly good for us. Since it's effectively a mulligan hand. Um... And again, if we can remove the consumer and make it cost one, this is beautiful. Uh, Lady of the House, again, is just really, really good. It's a solid creature in our deck. Paraffin Thug, if it gets the kill, can do some good stuff. Um, but I think we can skip it fairly reasonably and be happy about it. And at this point, our deck is thick. We're not having energy problems, we're having card draw problems. So give me some more card draw, and then we'll talk about energy afterwards. Uh, we went down this side. Alright, so Stygian Banner, do we have anything here that we really want? No. Um... So let's go ahead and check out this unstable vortex. What could we remove? Another two train stewards. Rather happily, I might add. We got a lot of recursion too, so we don't mind our creatures dying right now. Upgrade spell to remove consume. Look, I could not have tried this out better myself. Uh, Deep offering is now able to come back, and we can continuously play it. Now, having it for three energy is a little bit much. Having it for two is certainly doable. Um, it doesn't do anything crazy right now. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's far more helpful at 2 energy than it is anything else. 10 magic power immediately goes into Ice Storm. It's very good on Ice Storm. It practically has, like, attunement times a million. <laughs> now, out of these. Gain 3 spikes and 3 attack immediately. 
or apply five five and burn out two defending units i really like this on uh on this little fade since that allows us to put him down constantly give him hp to the other people behind him uh and then do some really good work that way the other options we go down this route and like it's spikes and attack three and three over spikes and attack two and two it is a 50 percent increase when you look at it numbers wise which is good it's gonna allow our spikes on our damage to go up a lot higher a lot faster so I, I think that that is well worth our time. All right, let's go ahead and see what's next. So far, we're doing okay. We haven't exactly done badly yet. Spikes four, uh, it, it, mm, it's a thing. Our, our draft might have some words to say about it, but overall, it's fine. So those two are dead upon going up to the next floor. Get any kill that way, which is excellent news. We can weaken people on this floor this way. Might as well put down the Mollus Mage, too. Look, th th that's all it's well worth putting out. In fact, you're dead. Sadly. I uh, should not have played you. Because <laughs> now, if we do Primitive Mold, we got a problem. Uh, that's not what happened. So you got six. It's exactly enough to spike both of them. Up here, we need to get a kill. So let's play the Lady of the House down here. Let's foregone power you. It's not the one I wanted to get, but it's fine. Uh, let's do this then. And then uh, watch what happens. We probably should have played the Wicklash, now that I think about it, uh, when we had the chance. Now, Wicked Blaze here is pretty nasty. This guy's useless. This guy we have to stop. So, I think we Wicked Blaze. We got this guy again. Now he's actually strong enough to stick around for the party. And he's getting two kills, which is, like, effectively he's getting two kills, which is excellent news. You need to die. Doing additional some damage to you is not going to hurt. Additionally, if we silence this floor, it doesn't do anything, but it gets it out of our deck. Oh, let's Offering Token. Schnikes. We're going to go ahead and spell weakness you and see what happens. Now, the Spikes 4 does hurt. I should remember that that was a thing. Uh, we're going to grab Molden. Grab this boy again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put Endless on you. That way we can just keep playing you for free every turn. That would be solid. Uh, we should put Whiplash on you. So he lasts another couple of turns. And you need to get the kill. Then down here... If we kill this guy, or at least hurt him... That sets us up nicely. Cool. He's got Burnout too. I still think we have to play him this turn. I mean, if we don't, what happens to us, you know what I mean? Um, we're not going to Sacred Wick here this turn, because it doesn't matter. Like, none of these matter, sadly. So, we end the turn. You're doing 50, huh? It's quite a lot. Um, Primitive Mold. We grab a Draft. Nice and done. Uh, it's not going to do very much, sadly. We're going to put it down here to prepare for in advance. But I think at this point, honestly, we just... Slap them as hard as we can. And have this person just move along. Um, we could very happily put this person out and then just have them die. But I think that the better option is to do this, to do a lot more damage. Then, if we energy siphon... We've had a lot of people die this turn. <laughs> okay, well, that worked. Um, turns out Memento more is really good. 50% uh, chance to apply spell weakness one. It's totally fine. It's it's a good spell for us. Removal debuff effects and all buff effects from enemy units. That's, that's fine. Fiddle melting does AoE damage. It's fine, but we don't need it. And Subsuming Blade is actually really, really good for us. Uh, the chance, the problem is that we can't play it often, so we're going to have to skip it for now. Uh, out of these, I'm always happy to see an Ice Storm, but I'd rather, if I'm forced to, have the chance to double it. And look, we managed to keep around our Calcified Embers for long enough that we actually have just good cards in our deck. Um, so we went down this way. What do I want to remove at this point? Do we have any more Train Stewards? No. So now we need to start focusing on what we want out of this deck. Um, the most powerful parts of the deck are obviously the spell weakness into the Icy Silophyte and then uh, casting something like Ice Storm or even Memento Mori to do the majority of the damage. I do not think that uh, three Wick Lashes is necessarily inst instantaneously good. Unnamed Tome is not a card I want to be drawing most of the time. Actually, in fact, it's a card I want to be drawing very little of the time. So I'll immediately remove it. And the Mollusk Mage just can't seem to find a place to exist which is a bit of a sad face i think that the foregone power though takes the majority of my sadness 
uh, most of the time, so I'm happy to remove that. Take the money, Merchant Magic. Why the foregone power? I know it's free, but all it does is add Frostbite, right? It, it just, that's all it does is add Frostbite. And that just doesn't help. Um, Burnout 4 is helpful, but Spell Weakness 2 is more so. Upgrade with 10 Magic Power. Ice Storm now does 21 damage per smack, which is uh, stellar. I'm not sure if I <laughs> made that abundantly clear. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, making Energy Siphon um, have Holdover potentially, I think, is more important. So I'm happy to go ahead and put the minus one there. Reroll, see if we get lucky, which we did, and then apply that to the Energy Siphon. And now we're ki cooking with the best of gases. Memento Mori now costs one. Hey, that's very powerful. Um, it's very, very, very powerful. I, I think that we'd be silly not to, considering how often our uh, fate is dying. So, let's see. Non-boss immunities restore all health and move up before. Effectively, they got lifesteal. Big whoop. I, I don't mean to be rude, but, you know, big whoop. Uh, we'll put you out there first. Then you next. Then have you kill off anybody that's still alive. Oh, I'm being phone called. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, hold on a second. I'm going to go ahead and text. Uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm in the middle. Can I call you later? I'm currently in the middle of a, of a, of a, of a, of a daily, you see. And uh, that makes things very difficult when it comes to talking on the phone. Uh, I'm recording the daily at the moment. Tongue sticky out face. So, what do I want to do here now? Dude. Slap down a mall smash. Again, I'm not sure what that mall smash is doing here. Okay. You form the only unit you have available to you. It is a little fake. Surprise, surprise. He goes out there and kills three of them just by existing. I think at this point you whiplash. Do you ice storm? I don't think you do. Because there's a good chance that you just kill the wrong units with that. I think you double Whiplash and you call it a day. Now, we should have killed this while we had the chance. That was a dumb move on my part. Okay. Immediately cast these two. Get them out of my deck, but give me the energy. I'm very pleased about that. Primitive Mole. He's back. He, again. He's ready to make some friends. Okay, now up here. You're still alive. But not for long. Uh, Let's see. Titan's Gratitude would do enough damage here to get the kill. And that's all I need. Now, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but our little fate not only has Burnout 3, but it's starting to become a little bit insensitive in terms of the amount of damage he's doing. So I'm going to go ahead and give him that uh, that little boost right there. Uh, I'll be happy to give you, like, all the spell weakness in the world, and then I might as well Frostbite because I can. Like... Okay, look, we've had three people die this time. Just give me the energy, I don't even care. Um, look... We want to keep you alive? Ice Storm, like, 50 times. It's fine. Uh, we might as well give you the Whiplash, so that way you stick around a little bit longer. Uh, and there's no other points to anything else. So, how are we doing? You're doing 290 to yourself. Okay, well, that's, that's it's something. It's something. Uh, I think that we are more than happy to go ahead and apply Heal Crystals here. Then Energy Siphon for another turn. Um, we've now applied enough Spell Weakness that just sneezing on this guy should kill him. Um, just in case, though, I'm going to put out this guy. He's already taken 100 and something. We're then going to do this. It's pretty fun. Why not? I'm happy to do 552 damage or whatever it is. Wax Snuffer, if I remember correctly, is Extinguished Ability Trigger an Additional Time. That's fantastic. Um, for a lot of different things, but I don't think it's actually that good for our deck. We're going to skip the reward, and then here, Urchin Spines is interesting. Spell Weakness 2, huh? We still have 31 cards in our deck, but I'm willing to go ahead and make this work. So which way are we going down this time, game? Alright, we're going down this way. Hurzel's Horde. Do 5 damage to enemy units when I burn, you know, with Burnout dies. That happens every turn. Uh, Hellvent. Look, I said I wanted to double up some spells. If I was given the chance. The easy double up right now is Ice Storm. Because it does... 105 damage. <laughs> it is such a powerful spell right now. Uh, okay, now we do have to be careful on this one. We cannot cast the same spells on the same floor as the Silver Shard. That is the Silver Shard there. If you're not careful about it, that's going to do some damage. Uh, we put out the Lady of the House. We put out the Icy Silver Fight. We're going to go ahead and Wicklash the Lady of the House. That which is a little bit stronger. And then... Okay, now that's a different one. Uh, Primitive Mold, our little fade back into existence. And we'll be quite pleased about that. We'll go ahead and uh, Endless him. At this point. Yeah, I don't mind. That's fine. Uh, the Mollusk Mage can go up here for right now, and then, really, there's not much else to do. Like, we can Forgotten Power, but what's it gonna do? 
Okay, at this point, put out the little fade. Remove this from my life. Um, tough call. I'm actually quite happy to put this out here now. I need to cast this. So we're going to cast this here, just to say that we did it. Uh, and the Urchin Spines, I don't think we're ever going to see again. Uh, there's no sense in playing it, sadly, so we're going to go ahead and... Okay. Little fade, out you come. Excavated Embers, no worries. Come back upstairs. How are you looking with Spell Weakness 3? Taking some damage, that's alright. Reform, we can get this little draft back uh, for a lot of damage. Out he comes for another 50. Then out of these, look, Offering Token, you, you keep the Wicklash, and you immediately apply that to her? Okay, this is the one where we can't play spells. So, we put out a little fade. He dies, you die, we all die. Uh, up here, though, we do want to kill you if we can. So let's do this. Deep Offering, see if we get lucky. I mean, we did. So lucky, in fact. Nah, it's not worth playing it. Lil Fade comes back again for free. Excellent news, everyone. He's continuously getting kills. He's actually becoming very strong on his own. At this point, we're definitely going to spell weakness you. I will mold a friend of ours. And this little guy... This little guy does damage. Now, we are going to Ice Storm you first, because that is well worth the damage we're doing. Okay, we can't cast spells on that floor. However, how much HP do you have right now? 378? Can we kill him? I feel like there's a math way to kill him this turn. If we apply Spell Weakness 2, you're taking two times the amount of damage with this. It's not enough to kill you. So, you know what? No, never mind. And I'm happy to let you die again. But I'd rather I let you die like this. Uh, at this point, then... You harness the Titans, right? You play Energy Siphon so you can get it again next turn. That crystal came in at a bad time. So what do we do here? Well, we put you out there. You have Lifesteal 3, which is bad news. Earth and Spines. And then, uh... Hold on. You're extremely dead? <laughs> Perfect! So, uh, shamefully, it wasn't on the same... Uh, you know, it wasn't on... The, it wasn't a turn early or anything. But I'll take it! Uh, remove all Burnout and debuff effects from a unit. This becomes interesting, uh, in some respects. I... Like it, but we have so many cards in our deck right now that it's just like... Ugh! It's a big... It's a big shrug at the moment. Now... We are noticing a couple of energy issues starting to pop up. But really only a couple. Um, I'm happy to go ahead and go for extra card draw on this one. Just to make sure we can start going through our massive, super thick deck on a more regular basis. And we didn't even go down the route that would actually allow us to thin it down even more. Uh, where are we sitting at right now? Four and four? Or we can start making this guy get bigger. Uh, I think that the four and four is going to be slightly better for us. Um, again, just because it adds up. Large stone. <laughs> It makes that draft a bit of a menace, for being completely honest. You can't gain armor too. It's cute. Uh, give twenty-five more HP again. It's cute. Um, I like a lot of these. But I'm wondering if any of these are really necessary. Like this one sort of works, right? But it, it does mean that we're clogging up our, our our bottom floor, which we don't want. We can't put either of these under large stone right now if we put large stone in the draft the draft is suddenly doing a lot of damage it's capable of going out doing a ton of it dying coming back next turn with even more damage i'm okay with this let's let's go for the um but then you can't flex it on the bottom floor not that we've been flexing it on the bottom floor anyway yeah i'm happy to do this a grand units f plus 25 look there's gonna be some damaging moments popping up right now lady of the house getting that is probably a pretty good plan um and we might as well make them all some HK armor, too. Like, for reasons. Uh, I'll re-roll here at this point and see what else happens. Endless. Uh, if we put Endless on Lady of the House, they never have a chance to come back with uh, extra burnout and stuff like that. I I'm not sure how I feel about that. Adding an extra plus five, plus five, and one extra burnout does mean that we have a little bit more leeway. Which is nice. Um, 
I'll be thrilled to do that. I'll be thrilled to add an additional 10 attack onto the Isocilla fight, giving her a little bit more damage. And then, do we want to purge a card? We've got 100 coins with which to work right now. Uh, and 100 coins is worth one purge. It's probably fine. Um, I think that out of them... Like, our deck isn't exactly lacking recursion but the problem is that recursion can still happen and i think the foreground power is still the card that makes me the most sad so i'm happy to remove it uh from my life it, it's six frostbite that's not even that much damage over the course of its entire lifespan um it won't even have the chance to really do its entire lifespan's worth of damage under most circumstances so who cares uh little fade's gonna come out and immediately die fine we're gonna do some work first though and that's fine by me um Okay, we gotta remember, this person appears worth money. We want to, we want to do that. Uh, we Primitive Mold, the only person that's worth getting back right now. You're gonna attack him twice and then get very close to dying. We are going to go ahead and immediately make a Mandalus, though. Now, we, you, we want to kill. So anything we can get that will kill you, and then also kind of protect our borders. Sort of you. I'd rather you got out there, though, and did your damage. Okay. Now we need this to work. You're back out here again. You're doing some damage, which is good. You're going to make it out alive if we don't kill you first. Which we can, which is good. Uh, I think we put the Mollusk Mage on this floor, like we have in the past. We're going to Wicked Blaze to grab back our Draft. Wowie. He's dead. And then we heal for Crystals this one into Oblivion. Um, and there's really no sense in not doing this, so we must have tossed that out. We probably should have put it on the middle floor just to get the encamp bonus now that I think about it, but hey, you know what? Stuff happens. You know what? Urchin Spines, baby. It's time. We killed everything on the floor. He's just gonna die, and that's fine. Uh, give me four more energy, because I can. Um, I might as well primitive mold, and then use all the mold and everything to give me some extra armor down here. But that's about all I can do. You're at three HP, which means you're gonna live. Unless... I put out the creature with Burnout 1 in front of your face, <laughs> and then you die, and that's great. Um, we are going to go ahead and cast as many spells as we can down here. Which got us back our draft, which is actually quite interesting. It's a lot of damage on that character right now. Um, I think we need to Whiplash you. Alright, Titan's Gratitude up here to do nothing at all whatsoever. We don't have enough ember, that's fine. Alright, it's the boss. He's the worst. Um, Little Fade comes out and does next to no real damage. But we do get some decent spell weakness on this character. And you know what? That's probably okay. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and apply uh, Burnout 2 onto this guy up here so he lives a little bit longer. And use whatever damage I can to just blast him. Um, yeah, that's the best I think we can do. At least we dealt some damage before they started multi-striking. Um, in this case, Little Fade is an easy put out. That's 156 damage every time they smack, which is, like, really worth it. Um, we have some Wicked Blaze options, though. How much spell weakness do you have? Just two, huh? Magic power. Here, let's go ahead and use Offering Token and see what else we got in our hand. Okay, this is interesting. We're doing about half of its life and damage already, which is great news. Um, we could do more, I think. And honestly, what do you do more damage with? 87 spikes or 156 damage once? I think the 156 damage once does a little bit more. However, do 156 damage twice, we're suddenly cooking with a little bit more gas. And then if we harness the Titan and then immediately Ice Storm for like that amount of damage, the dude is dead. And Little Fade gets the kill, which is huge. Okay. We somehow intuited that. I'm okay with this. Uh, Memories of the Melted is just not bad, but like we already have one. We don't need more. Uh, Glacial Seal is fine on the floors where it works, but overall, we can skip these relatively happily. So, we're on our last little bit of the run here. We're in a good spot. We have full HP. We got decent creatures that are about to get a little bit stronger. Not really. Um, giving this guy a little bit more HP will keep him alive a wee bit longer, which is good. Um, are there any artifacts that immediately make me think we need this? 
Even if we re-roll, I don't think it's happening. Look, uh, if anything, I am happy to remove the Forgotten Power. And then aggressively remove, like, one more card. I don't think we'll be able to purge another card after this. Uh, so what do I want to remove? Sacred Wix is yet to be useful once. But, um, it's not for lack of trying. Titan's Gratitude is okay, but has done very little so far. I'm actually very happy to remove it as well. We, we don't have anything that works well off of discard. And do I want more coins for tiebreaker points? Yes. I think that the deck is strong enough as is. We just don't want to put Endless on Little Fade too early is our big problem. That's the one thing I noticed in that last bit there, is that we put Endless onto Little Fade too early, and as a result, it only lasted for a turn every time. Activated Ember. Okay, cool. Remove the two Ventral Shards. Icy Silphite comes out here and has a relatively good time. Little Fade comes out here and does another bunch of damage on her own. Um, <clears throat> I can't reform or anything like that. I think that if we add Whiplash to it, it doesn't really do all that much. What I'd rather do is just bounce up here and quickly blast him for as much damage as we possibly can. You know, that's, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, another one of those guys. We, we, not fun. Uh, Sacred Rex coming into play immediately. Nicely done. Somehow they're both dead. Attack, kills, kills him. And then he dies because of reasons? I'm a little confused on that one, but that's okay. Out she comes. Moss Mage. Out you come. You're doing a little bit more damage. Uh, we could Memories of the Melted right now, just to add some Whiplash uh, to, to her. But what I'm actually more interested in doing is putting the Endless on you, rather than Little Fade. Because Little Fade, we're going to be getting out and getting enough Burnout that it doesn't matter. For the most part, we've removed almost none of our bonuses from having Little Fade around. So, uh, Molded immediately grabs Little Fade, no problem. And look how big and tanky he's getting. He's uh, attack, not dead. Attack, now dead. Then these two attack and get killed. Um, that's all good news. We're going to bounce up here. Immediately boost. I'm happy to do this right down here. No problems. I'm happy to do this. And then as we bounce up here, do we want to attack him or do we want to ice storm him? Ice storm him. 100%. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Now. Uh, if we go up here, you just urchin spines that guy and energy siphon as well, which is great news. We go for the wicked, uh, for the wicked blaze here to get the little fate out. Um, he's not going to die if we put him on this top floor. He will get a lot of damage out, which is good. But we kind of want him where he's going to do the most damage possible, which is down here. Right? Right. So, what do I do now? Well, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, Drew's Memento Mori. We do kind of have to use it here, sadly. If we don't use it here, then that person's going to get upstairs the floor, and that's just all bad news. We're going to Primitive Mold for nothing, just to get the two extra armor. Cool, now what? Well, we got Primitive Mold. It does what it needs to do. And our cards are being consumed right now, so we need to be careful about that. Put it on this middle floor. That's one thing. We need to stop you. We got one energy to do it with. How about we do this? Instantly kills that whole floor. Mentamori this floor. And then uh, we offering tokens just to see what pops up, which nothing did. Okay, cool. Little Fade's getting big and bossy now, which is great news. Uh, we need to remove this. We need to remove some other cards first. So what do I want to remove here? You're attacking. You attack. He dies. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. Um, might as well, dude. Yeah, well, spell weakness eight. So I think we put out the draft here. We don't need to play either of these. You're getting killed again because Little Fate's just doing nonsense right now. Ice Storm down here would do some damage. It'll get consumed immediately, however. Uh, I think that it's more important. Let's get out this. Have it be consumed because we're not going to need that much burnout in the very near future, is my current feeling. <laughs> and you made me draw all three of these assholes in the same turn! That's very rude. Now, it is worth mentioning we got Spell Weakness 9 on this character, so, like, that's all good news. Decent damage. Sadly, we played it badly. 
Okay, well, we didn't draw everything bad at all at once, so that's good. Molded, grab back a little fade. We took some damage on our pyre. We, we did not get an early kill on, on this character whatsoever. Um, that's okay, though. Why? Well, I'm not sure if you noticed, but the dude's dead. <laughs> He's dead off of spikes, and that's a good news thing for us. Um, look, we could have played that last fight better, especially on that second to last floor. Um, we should have been able to do better there. That was a bit of a rough one. I think that placing a little fade where we did on the middle floor did a really good job of being the goalie, but didn't end up actually helping us in the long run uh, by enough to make it a worthwhile play. We, we kind of played that one badly. Um, which is shown by the fact that we made 60th place despite a relatively decent score. That's not how that one works. 60th place is actually pretty high up considering how late in the daily we are. Um, so how'd you do? You did not remove your cards at all, sir. Third turn battle of boss rushes across the... Uh, okay, that would do it. That would do it. Just like solid play the whole way through. Zero damage taken. All the trial bonuses you could possibly manage. Third turn boss fight there. You had a million coins remaining. And you went for the abandoned stave, no less, too. Oh, which would have been really good in the final boss fight because you had more than enough energy to get rid of them every single turn, which is good. Um, let's see. You got a cuddle hex. I didn't see a cuddle hex. Uh, you went for the quick solo fight where we did not. You went for the Siren of the Sea, which was totally fine. Glacial Seal. Memories of the Melted times three. <laughs> you removed zero cards from your deck. This, this is a thick, with two C's level deck right now. Um, just a whole whole pile of stuff in here. And, oh my gosh. A whole pile of stuff. And you went for space and then draw. I am not sure how your deck even remotely became a... Um, a consistent thing, to be perfectly honest with you. But it certainly, obviously, did not do badly. Forty-seven thousand points, of which twelve hundred of those points are just are just money. That, that's effectively forty-five thousand points. Like that is a as perfect a score as you could ask for without getting early kills. Um, it obviously worked. So what do I know? Rules of containment was fine. Obviously, it seemed to have worked for him as well. Um. Although I think that the Jack Strips were still a better pick overall. Uh, there was zero Frostbite uh, benefit in, in this run. So if you had gone for Jack Strips, it would have actually done more damage in the long run. Just is what it is. Interesting stuff, though. Very interesting stuff. Um, turns out removing your cards in this particular deck did not make the most sense. I still think we did okay, though. Like, this deck was about as thin as you could possibly make it given the circumstances. Our draft was an absolute beast when it was able to come out. Um... The energy step with, with Spell Weakness was good, but we just couldn't seem to, again, get past the frontline unit or the freaking Silver Crystal that Arcus kept summoning to be able to allow us to really make good use of that spell. Uh, the Ice Storms were gross. Uh, and the Deep Offering was a waste of time. I don't know why I Deep Offering. It was not... It, it's, it's a powerful card when you can find the other cards to make it work. We did not this run. Uh, there were no Hammers... Um, there was very little in the way of discard this, cast this spell for free stuff that was really worthwhile. And so as a result, Deep Offering was a waste of time to spend this amount of money into. If I could do this over again, uh, removing the Consume off of one of the Excavated Embers, if we'd had them at the time, I don't think we did. Uh, removing it off of the Sacred Wicks would have been okay. Removing it from the Remnant Pact would have been excellent. Just made our entire field endless at that point, which would have been pretty cool. Um... But yeah, overall, it worked out just fine. And our deck did pretty well. Um, the main deal was that we didn't take a whole ton of damage. And we played okay. And <laughs> we still ended up with a 41,000 point score. It's not a it's not a skin of your teeth type of score. Like, that was a comfortable win. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure let me know. Hit the follow button. Well, there's one more thing I want to check in that top score. I just realized, which fade did they go for? They went, They went for the other one. They went for the complete opposite. And I'm beginning to wonder if maybe we would have done better had we applied 5 and 5 and burn out 2 to friendly units uh, every time that he had died. That would have been pretty stellar pretty quick. Um, in hindsight, we should have taken one rank in that. So if you've watched this far and you decide to do the daily for yourself, little fade, go for the spikes. But then if they give you the option of picking up the burnout 2 and 5 and 5, you pick that up at least once. I think that that's well worth your time. Uh, since that is a one-shot wonder at that point, with the amount that Little Fade was dying and the amount that we were able to bring them back, you can bet that our Icy Silo fight would have been hitting for like 50. Lady of the House would have been hitting for a lot more than that. Um, 
and applying enough burnout that we would have never had to worry about that floor right so there's definitely some bonuses there i, I think there's some play thanks again for watching I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves if you did be sure to let me know hit the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications when these videos go live and uh yeah have hope you've had a happy holiday so far and uh yeah, we'll, we'll continue doing these commutes throughout the, the new year, really, the way this is going, because I like doing this. That's it. Bye.